afternoon. Don't know what the time is, but I know it's like half two. So, how are we all doing? I am working on springtime, giving myself a bit of a challenge because I need this finished by the end of the month. To keep in on track, if I don't, I don't, but to keep on track with my 12 DACs this month, this year. So, that's what our aim is. But, I can't do it all day because someone has to do their taxes. Yep, that someone is me. So, we're going to, my excuse is I need to do a video. I've got loads of comments to do. So, we thought, right, we'll use it as an excuse. Get that done. Oh, I am working with my limited abuse. Limited abusion edition. The tablet don't want to work. Cook tray in the baby blue. I am using a squishy pen for my ABs and a squishy pen for everything else. I'm using my butterfly release papers that is available on my Etsy. This really doesn't want to work today. I don't know what's going on. Where's the da 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 Anna Lee? Anna Lee? Anna Lee? My tablet doesn't want to work today. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to. I did have YouTube Studio. Mm -hmm. I need it to turn because I kind of see it's so all small. It's been a bit of a pain in the butt today, that tablet. It's just slow because of the amount of storage your pattern cube has taken up. It wasn't slow before I went away. Yeah. <laughs> Did you delete all those films? Yeah. Um, yeah, so today I'm working on this section. This is only my second row and it is kind of a big one. It's 90 by 70. It's by Joelle McIntyre. Um... That kind of messed up a bit, didn't it? So the plan is, is to do this video and then finish this section. And then I'm going to be working on my taxes, get my tax return in. And then don't need to worry about it for another year. Now... There is, maybe, a very good update on Z Holiday. As I said in the last whip, I had major, major delays and cancellations on my trip out. However, I did say I wanted to book a game to go for Christmas. The travel agent because everything got messed up has given me a discount that I can't refuse so it's booked it's booked for us to go on Christmas Eve so we're there for Christmas Day it is another two week holiday um, I'm hopefully going to be paying it all off once or most of it off once i get my compensation from british airways because it was their fault that we didn't that we were late 
that we were like nearly a whole day late of getting there. So, yeah. That's all exciting. We've got a bit longer this time to be able to sort all the finances and everything else out. Thank you, Emily. Don't you need it plugged in? Huh? You don't need it plugged in. Got loads of comments, guys. And I think we've got the bottom. So, yeah, so we've got a bit more time and hopefully, and it hasn't cost as much as the last one did and because of the delays and all that British Airways are going to be giving us some compensation because not only was our flight cancelled at last minute but it was also the second flight was delayed, which meant we missed the third flight. So it was all a bit chaotic. We did still have a good time. This time we're booked to not fly with British Airways. And we're also booked direct. So there'd be no stopovers, no nothing, 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 nothing. So let's get these ones done. So, yeah, it's going to be, and to go at Christmas. I used to go at Christmas before, and it is magical. So, to go at Christmas will be amazing. And, yes, I know, we've just come back. But these holidays take a bit of planning and a bit of saving. So... I figured, I think we've, it works out we've got like eight months. We don't need to buy any clothes. We've got all that now. We don't need to get suitcases. We've got all that now. So, fingers crossed, this one goes a bit smoother. On the beginning and the end. So, yeah. And you know what? This is what our aim is. This is what we want to, or I want to spend my money on. Giving Anna Lee holidays she'll remember forever. Like, her anxiety over there was so much better, guys. I had a few moments, but she did amazingly well. Considering it was me that was freaking out when flights got cancelled and everything. She's the one that sort of kept a, a good head on her shoulders. She, she was just amazing. I can't, I really can't state how good she was on holiday. And I think it did a, a world of good. So if there's an excuse, we're doing it for medical reasons. But she's got um, a planner coming. That is specifically for Disney. Because yes, we are doing Disney again. Yes, we are addicts. But you know what? There's worse you can be addicted to. Like diamond painting. <laughs> so yeah. That is the update on the holiday. And Lee is still working on putting the videos together however she has got bad jet lag and she did go back to college so it's all been a bit hopefully this weekend I think our aim is to get a lot of it sorted like I said it is Friday today so my thing is 
do this video, get my accounts done, and then hopefully over the weekend I can get a chunk of this done. I don't think it will be finished by the end of the month. However, I will give it a good go. It would be good if it was because we've obviously got DIY DB coming. Um, starting 1st of May, which is the lovely Sam's from Kitten Up Kitten, her event. She still hasn't told me what video day she wants me to do videos. But I'm sure she'll shout and tell me at some point. It is one of my favourite events of the year. Because it means I can work, I've got an excuse to work on conversions every day. And yes, I am addicted two conversions love me conversions I do man right now we want the plus oh is my head keep getting in the way sorry guys keep seeing my head so, oh this is so pretty it's so pretty right now we've got three weeks worth of comments here so I'm going to try and get through some of them and then we can do the rest possibly on Sunday because that's a lot of comments and I can't, I do have to do me, I do have to do me taxes, get all my accounts done. Right, so from three weeks ago, the last whip on a sun whip it whip along Sunday. We've got Caroline Bottomley. She says, Enjoy your holiday, have a wonderful time. I did, my dear. Um, Will most says, Hope you have a fab fabulous time on holiday, savor every moment. Oh, we did, but it just goes so quick. Like, what did she just come and do? What did you just do? Oh, my God. Um, it just goes so quick, but there's, there's so many things that we did, absolutely loved, so many times me and Annalie were just laughing, um, and there's so many things we didn't get to do because there's only so many hours in the day, so we did have fun. Thank you. She did, um, we was actually speaking to her, we popped, popped to the shop just before I'd started this video. Um, we went on a ride. Should I say we went on a ride? I wasn't a willing participant, just saying. I was forced onto the ride. You wasn't. Um, no, I wasn't forced. Let, let's start at the beginning. Annalie decided she wanted to do, um, What's it called? Flight of, Flight of Passage. Now, I'm not allowed to do up and downs and upside downs and all them kind of rides because me hot. She said, Mum, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. It's a stimulator. You don't actually go up and down. Well, let me tell you something. She was actually more scared than me. I laughed the whole way through. It was a stimulator. It is absolutely amazing was i scared yeah did i nearly have a little accident 100 percent. but it was fantastic when i turned to look at because we had these goggle 3d goggles were they 3d goggles I think so. um on like we were strapped in and everything don't know why we were strapped in because you don't physically move um but it was I looked at Anna Lee and that she had the fear of God look in her face, which just made me laugh even more. I did close my eyes a few times and then opened them entirely when I, sh when I shouldn't have done. But it was fabulous, 
absolutely brilliant. And even on like the little rides, like Winnie the Pooh, Figment, um, even though that was on. The figment broke down a few times, didn't it? Yeah, and then the end. Was that the one where we had the whoosh of air in our face? Yeah. Like, we just laughed. We laughed all the time. And it was it was brilliant. It was brilliant to see Annalie like that. It was nice for us to have that mother and daughter time. Now she's going to kill the cat. Um, but yeah, it was amazing and we do which is why we're eager to go back because i had the bug many years ago of going to disney every year um anna lee was very was smaller then she's now of age where she's got the bug now <laughs> would you say you've got the bug yeah don't bite me um, she's got the bug now. My bug is well and truly back in 100% strength. And you know what? If we choose to do Disney every year, that's what we choose to do. And to be honest, I haven't got that many years left of her being a kid and wanting to holiday with me. So I'm going to make the most of it. So we will, we are going again, like I said, Christmas Eve. We'll be in the skies. Direct. Flying with Virgin this time. Which I have flown with them before. And they've been okay. Um, I will never fly British Airways again. And I will never do um, a layover in direct flight. Because I figured even if a flight is delayed, cancelled, and they put me on another flight, at least if it's a direct flight, I'm getting there. This time, the whole palaver just was really not good for my stress levels. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, I digress. Debbie says, enjoy your holidays. Don't buy too much. Enjoy the parts. To be fair, I didn't buy much that much for me um and lee literally and lee didn't even spend all her money i think she came back with 21 dollars yeah. um i bought a bit i bought a bit mm. not loads no i bought like double the amount of, that you did though i bought diamond paintings yeah, but not, not a huge amount of money though. Like I got really good deals on diamond paintings. Like I didn't, I don't think I spent over fifty dollars on diamond paintings, and I come back with what five? Five, including yeah. four, five, four three. Yeah, four for me, and I bought one for Samantha. Um. So didn't do too bad and we did enjoy the parks I got we kind of at the beginning didn't spend as much time in the parks as I would have hoped and then ended up cramming everything into the end but every minute minute of it was amazing and we've got Tammy she says on kitten down farewell to Angus she's beautiful I love that I do love it and I've still got to frame it and I've got everything sitting here so I might do that next week I might I want to kind of finish all them little bits. And I ain't got any videos to do apart from whips. Yeah. So maybe I'll do a video of framing that. I've still got to frame reading cats, but that's a big job, isn't it? And I need my son to come and sort out the frame for me. Because he's going to make the frame up for me, so... But thank you. And then we've got the whipper lot three weeks ago still. We've got Trudy. She says, you can't speak. You are so excited. Enjoy safe travels. Oh, thank you, honey. Um, 
We've got Sue, have a wonderful pen, holiday, Penny and Anne Lee, and come back safely. We did come back safely. Um, I'd say I'm now pretty much okay with jet lag. I think Annalise pretty much okay with jet lag now. I'm fine. Um, I think it did help her going to college for the two days. Um, because obviously it then gets her body back to being awake during the day and sleeping during the night. Like, look, don't get me wrong, I did have to wake up. Last couple of days I've had to wake her up at midday. But yes. she would have done that before. Like, she would do that before we went on holiday. She would be like that. So that's her back to normal. Um, but yeah, pretty much all okay. Sarah, have a great holiday. Thank you. The lovely, crazy Shazza. She says, have an amazing time on holiday, Penny and Anne Lee. Can't wait to see some pictures and videos of it. Safe travels. Lots of love to you both. Anne Lee's working on it. Like I said, she has been back to college this week so hopefully at some point this weekend she'll sit down and sort them out it's most probably been going to be a couple of videos long um she sort we've sort of got to sort of gather or she's got to gather she's the tech one well, not me i don't have a bloody clue um We've got pictures on my phone, pictures on her phone, pictures on the GoPro. So, she'll put some of them together and then we'll have to, we'll have to do a voiceover because a lot of it has got copyright music and I'm trying to be a good girl. So we can't really, we'll put, she does the video and then she's going to show me how to do all the voiceovers and stuff. So hopefully it'll be coming soon. But yeah, there's quite a few videos. There's quite a few, there's loads of pictures, isn't there? Yeah. Um, I'll do it today. So, yeah. But you'll all get to see, I did say, I was gonna do a couple of lives while I was over there, but Guys, I was just so tired, like, we weren't getting back from the parks till 10, half 10 at night. Yeah, I think the latest was half through 11 because it was fireworks. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that was the night we stayed for Fantasmic. Because that was later, because that didn't start till what time? Like oh, no, that wasn't. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, either I've, I didn't even do any diamond painting, so loads of pictures and stuff to come betty harris have harris have a wonderful trip to florida you deserve the well-needed rest i pray you and only have fun you may find a nice mouth friend or make new friends lol hug and kisses to you and Anne Lee. be safe and careful i met a cowboy <laughs> actually he didn't sweep me off on his horse though he just tipped his head and said, Holy man. I was I was like, oh wow. That was the night that um we stayed in Dallas. And I was outside having a fag like you do. And he just walked past me and he was like, Howdy man. He probably like had the what they called, you know, like the cowboy boots with the things on the back. I don't know what they're bloody called. I was going to say stirrups, but it's not stirrups, is it? That's the things that you put on the horse, put your legs in. But yeah, met a cowboy. I met s some amazing people. We did have, um, this is why I won't get my, any of my comments done. Um, I had this lovely lady next to me. Couldn't even tell you her name. Um, she'd divorced her husband four months ago, sold the house and just went travelling. She had this lovely little Jack Russell dog called, um, Wishbone. Wishbone and she had a cat called Mushroom. Mushroom. 
oh my god the cat was gorgeous the cat you could see had it must have had persian in it or something like that beautiful cat very very timid cat um but she did we used to sort of stand outside the room in the morning and in the evening chatting um she did make me laugh so i said to her oh they allow dogs she said yeah she said um i went on that internet and i got a fake service dog certificate and bought him a jacket she said i can't like there's no she hasn't got anywhere else to leave them bless her but she was such a sweet lady so so sweet and then i met a whole family um from dublin uh, they were who they they've they were like me they were loud not loud because i'm not loud but they were well, they were loud weren't they i'm not that loud but they were like just said out what how they thought you know lovely lady Lainey is the lady that was nearer to me, but the whole family like that, their mum, their sister, all the kids. But it was it wasn't they were really such a lovely um family. They've actually um we actually swapped information so that we can keep in touch. Pop over to Dublin to see them. But it, oh, just Mr. H. Where did you go? Yeah. But yeah, lovely family. Spoke to like because we speak. I speak to everybody, you know. I'm not, I don't care. I speak to everybody, and I made obviously every time I sat down for a cigarette, I spoke to them. Spoke to people. Um, and I did really well, to be fair. Um. Where I'd normally smoke, I don't know, 20 cigarettes a day. Some days we'd be in the park all day and I might I might come out once. We used to have one before I went in, didn't we? Didn't I? And then sort of halfway through the day pop out and have one and then not have one till we were, I was leaving. But yeah, um... And just everybody was just so lovely, so friendly. And there was a few people that had a bit of an attitude. But you just got to ignore them. You know, a few snide little remarks from people. But like I said, you just got to ignore them. Annalie had so many people coming up to her just saying how pretty she was. Speaking Spanish. And everybody thought that she was Latina. Latina. Latino. So they just randomly come up and start speaking Spanish to her. And she was like, ah, ah. But yeah, she had one lovely lady. Where were we? Were we in Anna? No. We were in Magic Kingdom. Where's Park Flight? No, we was in Animal Kingdom. And that lady come up and gave you... What, the bracelet? Yeah. No, that's Adventureland in... Magic Kingdom. Magic. Lady, she, Anne Lee was dressed as Tinkerbell. She did quite a bit of Disney bounding. And if you don't know what that is... Don't be rude, Anne Lee. <laughs> um, it basically means, for instance, she had a little... What did you have on? Green? Suit that looked like a dress and then the wings and then wings yeah that kept setting off the security everywhere um but this lady just came up to her and gave her a bracelet beautiful bracelet um bead bracelet and just said you're beautiful um and then there's certain points in the park where I'm sure you, some of you guys have been, so you'd know this. But there's certain parts in the park where the cast members, the staff, actually take your picture for you. And then you download it to your app. Or it connects to your app. Well, there was one like that that was in, taking a picture of us in front of the castle. 
and she was dressed as Tinkerbell. So they put, they added Tinkerbell into her hands. Very sweet. So see, we've got loads of pictures to show you. Malcolm. But yeah, it was amazing. Betty Hollis, oh, by the way, welcome to the USA. I'm f from Louisiana. So Florida is like 13 to 19 hours drive from my, where I am. Listen, it took me that long to get there. Um, to be fair, 18 to 19 hours, 13 to 19 hours drive. The direct flight that we're getting when we go back is only nine hours. Nine hours flight from London. Well, if you count from my house to the airport is two hours. Plus nine hours flying. So you're talking about 11 hours and that's coming from across the pond. But America's huge, isn't it? Absolutely humongous. But nice to know we were all the same side. We got Catherine's just safe flight and enjoy Mickey. Thank you. Um... Jess, Di Jess Diamond Paint says, I hope you had a fabulous weekend. I'm in Central Florida and weather has been glorious. Hope it stays that while, while, while you are there. It will be clouded, but I'm sure you'll have so much fun. I am super excited myself as I count down to my flight up to Rome in about three weeks. Also, you should be there now. We will be embarking on an 11-day Mediterranean cruise. It's a belated celebration of our 26th anniversary. Well, huge, huge congratulations on hitting 26 years. It's a long time. Um, you could all well be there now. So if you are, have an amazing time. Mediterranean cruise will be fantastic. And we did have some amazing, amazing weather. We had, the first day we got there, it rained, not majorly, but enough for us to sort of not be at Disney and so forth. And then we had one more day of rain, which was, I believe, the 3rd of April. So it was in our second week. And it was, it was, there was apparently there was going to be a storm. I didn't see a storm. It rained, but it weren't particularly heavy, but it didn't rain till about four o'clock. So we took that as a shopping day. And it was only when we were getting ready to come home, wasn't it? What <laughs> yeah. are you doing to the cat? Nothing. It was when we were getting ready to leave the outlets and head back to the hotel that it started to rain. But it wasn't like it wasn't absolutely teaming it down but apart from that we had glorious weather it was a bit chilly in the evenings um that's the time of year we 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 went so it was gonna be but we had amazing weather absolutely amazing weather right i'm gonna take a quick break now but i will back be back in a jiff Right, I'm back, guys. I'm back, back, back. And Lee has just taken all the photos off my, off my phone and had a little chat with Sam. Bless her, she's got awful headache today. She's going to go home and try and get a nap in, try and clear it. Hopefully I'll get to see her either over the weekend on Monday or something. Because I've got bits to give her. Right, let's get cracking with these comments because we're still three weeks away because, you know me, chat like there's no tomorrow. Right, we've got the lovely Lisa. She says, safe travels, Penny. We just got 11 inches of snow last night, so I'm especially jealous now. 
Hope you have wonderful weather the entire time you're there. Oh my God, you're actually thinking of coming to Wisconsin. Wow, that would be awesome. We have just a small airport here in central Wisconsin, although, so I doubt you'd get a direct flight. We didn't make it. Um, mainly because all the palaver and losing a day and we didn't want to get on another plane. So I do apologise, Lisa. I love you dearly and I would have loved to have seen you. But all that palaver and getting there, we just didn't want to do another plane knowing that we had a long journey home at this, like two weeks later. Um, although the journey home was much better because we ended up a direct flight because they messed that up as well. So it was only, and we literally slept the whole way back. There was nothing to talk about for the, on the way home because we missed it. We slept. But thanks, Lisa. I would have loved to have come and seen you. Um, but we're coming back December. God's willing, we can try and do something then. Because I do feel like with YouTube, I've made some really good friends. Like we've got, I've got my Sam, my Sam, obviously, from Kitten Up Kitten. And Lisa has become such, such a dear friend of mine. So maybe we can sort something out then. Right. Unboxing from the D Stash group. She says, got. Crazy Shazza, that's a pretty canvas. Have a wonderful holiday, Penny. I was really glad to get that one because of the fact that it was one that I wanted and I got it for a really good price. And yes, there's a bit of it. It's already been started. Not a lot of it. So it's a case of good price lovely picture one that i wanted well up right it wasn't a number one for me if, if you're new to my channel i have and me and sam kind of work on the same theory if you could call it that right we have number ones and number twos and i'm not talking about a wee and a poo i'm talking about if it's a number one we we're, we're gonna get it talking about diamond art clubs we're gonna get it if it's a number one without foul that's ending up in our stash if it's a number two then we like it but we're not gonna rush to get it we'll get it when it's on sale or if we get it to make up for free post so that we get free postage or Things like that. So, Majest Maj Majesty, I think it's called, um, was a number two for me. And then, like this one, Spring Gates was a number two for me. And then I got it, and it quickly became a number one. And I don't think it's available anymore. I think it's discontinued now. But I got this at a really good price. I think I paid 41 for it which was, for the size of it, was a good price. I bought it in the sale, but it is a beautiful canvas. And I'm loving how all these flowers are coming out. Absolutely loving it. So it was definitely a win-win. And the fact that I got Majesty for such a good price made it even better. So, yeah, glad you liked it, Shazza. And then we've got on Whip Along Henry. That is the cutest thing. Have a good day, Penny. Thanks for the video. And then we've got the lovely Gina with all the emojis. And our Oscar the koala. I actually, because I've I got a little koala painting. I think it's from Timu or something. But after doing that penguin... And the penguin came out really cute that I got from Timu. I'm going to do the koala because 
And yes, his name's going to be Oscar. Especially for you, Gina. Right. Right, then we've got... Kitten Up Mini Warmer. Warm at home. Now, the reason I kitted at this up, if you haven't seen the video, is because we've got DIY DP coming up in a couple of weeks. And Medusa is Mahusive. So, I kind of wanted to kit up a smaller one. And I'm sort of two minds as to whether to do that for DIY DP or whether to continue with Medusa. Um, I'm still not 100% sure. Um, but I thought, if I kit it up, then the choice is there for me. It's already kitted up. It's ready to go. I've got all the drills for it. So, it's there. So, we've got Sharon Marble. She says, that's a lovely picture, Penny. Thanks for the video. Have a wonderful day. Then we've got the lovely Sue. She says, I think you should do the cat one in May because it's smaller and you have a fair chance of finishing it. Plus, I like the picture better. It's strange watching you at home when I know you're in the USA. It was strange. It was strange getting comments, thinking, oh, did I put a video up? But I did try to get you guys some videos for while I was away. Obviously, not as many as... I've had of late, but you had some. Just so that you didn't forget little old me. You know? Just so you didn't forget me. Because I can't lose little members of my family. And then Leonor replied saying, I agree. Plus, I'm curious to see how it goes and how you'll feel. Penny, because I think I would get bored doing a piece that's basically black, white and greys. Maybe the same you're feeling with the background on Medusa, but maybe it wouldn't be so. Hope you're having a great vacation. Well, it will be interesting to see. I think the reason that I'm getting a bit blur with Medusa is that it's just background. It's like the marble background. And I'll have nearly a whole canvas of that. Um, but with the warm-up heart, although it's lots of blacks, greys, whites and so forth, it is going to be the picture. Like, I think it works out that the whole picture would fit into one canvas out of four that I'm doing for Medusa. So, it's going to be one of them. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how quickly the... Because I'm not saying I'm not going to do Medusa. I am going to do Medusa. But I'll do it in between others. That's what I'm thinking. Or I may not. I may decide, you know what? I've started Medusa. Um, May would give me a good opportunity to get lots of it done. You notice I'm only single place in this. And this is because I'm just sitting here enjoying doing it. And also because my glue was messing about in the multi-placer. But I am just simply enjoying the whole process, really. Right, then we've got Gina and Sarah with our emojis. Um, then we've got Whip Along Sunday um, from two weeks ago. Malcolm can now open the doors, you say. Oh, you've got to respect that clever, clever cat. I hope you're having a great vacation. He can open the doors. He basically knows, depending on where, where he is, because if he's in the hallway, where the doors open into the different rooms, he knows that if he just jumps and hangs on for dear life, 
the handle will come down and the door will open up. Obviously, if he's in the room, he can't open it because he can't pull it towards himself. They actually did really, really well at the cattery. Um, they're now together a lot more. Don't have them together during the day. During the night, rather, still have them separated, especially because we've been so tired that it's like, can't be dealing with waking up to them screeching and fighting and whatever. But there's, Malcolm still needs to learn to leave. Just walk away from Monty. Don't antagonise him. That's what Monty still needs to learn that. Right, let me get the next colour. Tell you what, I'm really feeling the cold now. Because we've been in such lovely weather. Right. With Long Henry. Loved this is Lisa. Loved the pop of the drills too. So satisfying. Loved this diamond adorable diamond painting, aka Henry. He came out really nice. He came out a lot better than I thought he would. I am um, I'm not against budget diamond paintings. Okay. A lot of it depends on Number one, the image itself and the size of it. And what I am against is the fact that a lot of the budget companies use stolen artwork. Now, it's stolen artwork to us, but a lot of them that are made in China and wherever they're made are... They have different licensing laws, so it's not, they're not doing anything illegal that, as far as that's concerned. But if you go onto AliExpress, anything like that, you can get Randall Spangler ones, you can get Christopher Lovell, I've seen Nine Lives on there, Mandy Manzano, and I just, I just don't support that. Um... Now, I'm sure in my early days of diamond painting, I most probably did do some. Um, now that I'm aware of it all, it's not something that I want to participate in. Um, but that's my decision. Not everybody is the same. Not everybody has the same views. If we were all the same, life would be pretty dull. Um, like I said, I have got a koala one as well from Timu that I'm going to do. But I think it's just a case of when you're doing a, a budget company, when you're buying from them, just try and research the picture. It's quite easy to do a um, reverse image search. And look at the size. Now, if you're going to do something that's got quite a bit of detail, there is absolutely no point getting a 30 by 40. Now, Sam has recently done, a com I think it went up the other day, a comparison where she had two, the same image, Mandy Manzano. One was a Diamond Art Club and the other one was a budget. And you, you can see the difference. It's not just that it was budget, it's the fact that it's far too small to get any of the really nice detail in it. But it's 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 worth having a look at that video because that video will, to me, shows how much I, the size and the quality matters to, as, as to what the difference is in the end result. Now, I do understand not everybody can afford Diamond Art Club. I couldn't when I first started, hence I did AliExpress, I did um, eBay, all the budget stuff I used to do. And some of them turned out really good and some of them turned out naff. 
you know and it's just as as i've progressed and sort of learned more and more about it you can do budget ones will you get the same quality my opinion no will you get some amazing ones absolutely i love how my penguin my henry turned out and i do i just think it's a case of looking if something like henry was a very small i think it was like 20 by 20 or something not even that 15 by 15 when i measured it but it's such a there's not a lot of detail in it so you can get away with it drills were lovely couldn't complain about the drills so yeah i think it's just research what you're doing you know and that's all there is to it it's nothing against budget companies if i find another one on timu that i think will suit the size of of what it is i would do it i would get it if i liked it it wasn't stolen artwork and like i said that the size was okay for the image i would get it and do it without a doubt but like i said just just research it that henry turned out really cute i'm actually going to make him into a christmas card i think maybe i'll make him to a christmas card and send out to one of my lovely subscribers so you can have a work of art done by myself Um, then we've got unboxing another cat which i believe i don't even know what but unboxing might have been watercolor cat possibly we've got sue which and she says i just knew you'd order this i'm halfway through doing mine it's fun to do and it's turning out beautiful i'm not starting mine yet i'm trying to be very good and get the ones that i'm already doing done i've got my my kitted up collection is getting bigger especially because i did not do any on holiday so i've kind of added that one now um if you remember i did start abstract cat but I said I would do this one for Springer Fun that's being run by DAC Fans UK. So I thought this one's bigger than Abstract Cat. So let's get this one done first and then I will finish Abstract Cat next. I am hoping to get this as much. I'm not going to finish this in, in April. It's already what the 19th it's not gonna happen like i said i am trying 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 to do um 12 deep diamond dark clubs this year i've done three so i am now on to this is the fourth so this in theory is april's so i am going to try and get as much of this done in april and then try and finish it in between DIY DP May but we'll see how we go we'll do as much as we can and we've got Shazza that's a beautiful canvas hope you're only having a wonderful day and Trisha's lovely beautiful Kippy, Kitty hope you're having the most fantastic time on your Joel's we did and I've got to say thank you guys because it's down to my subscribers. It's down to people that purchased things in my shop that I was able to do the holiday. Um, like, and even my next one, I'll only be able to do it. The only reason I, I've, it's already booked is because because they kind of messed up with 
the going out and coming back flights. It, it's kind of like a, um, it's nearly paid for itself. What with the compensation that British Airways is going to be giving me and everything else, I don't actually have to put much towards it, which is pretty cool. But then, would I have rather not add the mess up? 100%. So, right, we've then got Kitten Up, Majesty. And we've got Tammy who says, hello, hello, my darling. Trudy, thanks for the video, sending my love. Then Sue says, love the picture. Hope you're having lots of fun on holiday. Um, and then we've got Darcy. Um, Hello, Penny from USA. I'm still waiting on my co-deals order. As of the 10th, it will have been two months since my order. Oh, my gosh. Did get a notification that it was shipped three weeks ago, but seriously not too happy about this when I'm watching others unboxing theirs. Will likely not order from them anytime soon. But since I won't but since I won't be ordering from any others for a long time. Shopping here has completely gotten out of control. Just medical payments are taking a quarter of my income. And once my bills are paid, doesn't leave any extra. Hope you have a marvellous vacation. Oh bless you, honey. The thing is, right, I'm gonna be honest, this whole like I Used to go to the US all the time, twice a year, to Florida. And I've noticed how much things have gone up in price. It's no way near as cheap as it used to be. Um, but then the dollar, I think we used to go and it used to be $2 to the pound. Now you're lucky if you get 1.2 to the pound. So everything, and it's affecting everybody, isn't it? Everybody that's got any form of that, like responsibility, paying bills, even food shopping, even in Walmart, I noticed the difference, you know? Now, we love, I love going to Walmart and buying the big bags of M&Ms and things like that. And we do bring some back. Um, but even that has got really expensive. So 100% get it. Like, we're struggling here in the UK with the cost of living now. And to be fair, I think every single country is. After the whole COVID shenanigans, everything's just gone sky high, you know. I've got to say, things like... Eating in Disney hadn't gone up as I thought it might have done. Um, we, our favourite place to eat is Denny's. Always has been. Used to be IHOP. Gotta say, went to IHOP once and, yeah, was quite disappointed in it. Um, Maybe because it was late in the evening. I don't know. It just wasn't as nice as I remember it. So our our favourite place to eat was Denny's, which is a cheap place to eat. But eating in the parks wasn't any more expensive than eating at Denny's. So we did eat it. We did have Denny's quite a few times, didn't we? You're going to hurt him, Emily. Don't hold it. You're him. hurting. Don't hold his shoulders like that. Close your legs. It's reached point, Malcolm. Bite me and I will bite you back. He's in a very mischievous mood today. But bless you. Kitten up, kitten. <laughs> I miss you so much. You must never go away again. I'm re-watching re just to hear your voice. So enjoy your holidays because I ain't letting you go again. I'm only joking. Well, mostly. I actually just told her on the phone that I'm going back. Yeah. She'll get over it. Bless her. I did. I did speak to Sam a few times while I was away. Um, It was quite good because I'm... I was doing the same there that I did here. I was getting up at like half five, six o'clock in the morning. 
going outside, letting Annalise sleep. And then I'd phone Sam, we'd have a chin, chin wag, find out what's going on. She didn't have much gossip for me though, she's not very good. She didn't find out any gossip or anything like that. But yeah, I did just tell her that I was going again. But she, she's lovely. She just wants me to have the best time, you know. I bet between... When, when she comes off the phone, she's like, that bloody woman. She's leaving me again. But the thing is, she did the same. Do you guys remember last year? She went off for two weeks. And just left me abandoned. It was her birthday Tuesday, just gone. So, happy birthday to Samantha. But yeah, bless her. She's all right, our oh, Sam. And we've got the lovely Gina with the emojis. And then we've got, hi Penny and Annalie, I hope you're having a great time, enjoy. We did, we did, we did. All oh, you guys, seriously, we had an amazing time. And it was nice to still get, like, I was, I was, was reading my comments. So it was nice to, it was a nice feeling to have everybody saying, like, hope you're having an amazing time, da, da, da. Enjoy yourself. It was lovely. It really was. All right. What have we got next? Oh, the Crafty Witch, Ariana. She says, you can never have too many cats. I think that was because I was saying, I was trying not, because like every other diamond painting I've got, has got a cat in it. But you're right. You can't have too many unless you've got a Malcolm. Then you can have too many. Malcolm is just a handful. It's like I've got this mature Monty who literally doesn't cause any trouble to anybody. He's just happy just to curl up and sleep all day. And then you've got Malcolm that races around like he's on some kind of drugs. He, like, he knackers you out just watching him. Bless his little heart. He's a good boy sometimes when he's sleeping. But they are getting on a lot better than before we went away, which is really good because that was the aim. I will definitely be using that cattery again. In fact, I need to phone them and book up for Christmas because... They get booked quite quickly. Right, then we've got Sue, and she says, It's hard to believe that as I'm watching this, your holiday is over. I do hope you've both had a wonderful time, and thank you for all the videos you put up when you're away. Oh, bless you, Sue. Like I said earlier, I couldn't have you lot forgetting all about me, could I? I had to keep reminding you I was still around. Maybe in a different country, but I was still here, ready to annoy you every day. Well, not every day, but you know. Right, I think that's going to be it now, guys. I'm going to finish up this colour and I'm going to sign off because I can do, finish this section of camera. And then I can do my taxes. Don't I sound excited? Whoopee do. I think that's all the C's done. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I will be back hopefully Sunday, life permitting, to... crack on and get some more of these comments done because I've still got a few to do so for me to you 
Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me get seen. It helps my channel to grow. If you want to see more, think about hitting that subscription box. And if you hit the little bell, you'll hear ting every time I upload a new video. But for now, guys, I'm going to doodle off. And I will see you all soon. Bye.